what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Johnson before, and today I want to talk about the next Call of Duty, which is Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I will be talking about the kill streaks, and um, you know, I will give my predictions of what's going to be coming up in the multiplayer gameplay. So, one of the kill streaks that I really want to talk about, guys, will be the SATCOM. I'm for sure, I'm 100% sure the SATCOM will replace the spy plane. Now, in my opinion, guys, I think this is bad. This is terrible, and it has been a terrible idea since Call of Duty Ghost. Since day one. Now, in Domination, Team Deathmatch, you know, all those team modes, game game modes, uh, you gotta put down like six of them or four of them. I don't know how many of them, but you gotta put down a lot of them. And then you get your fucking spy plane, which is pathetic. I think we should all be getting a fucking spy plane. You know why? Because that's gonna make the campers work harder for them to camp. They're gonna want their spot so bad that they're gonna try to destroy the spy plane, which is pretty good. Now it's a distraction for them. Everybody's working out there. You see? If you guys get me here, that means that, you know, nobody is safe. Nobody. Not even the fucking campers. You know how safe the campers are in Call of Duty Ghost? Fucking safe as fuck. Because now they have Amplified. They're waiting for you in the goddamn corner. And that's it. And then they get the kill streaks, and then you're all like, the fuck, you know, they're all sitting in the fucking corner. What can we do? And then you can't even use that silence because Amplify fucking, like, stops it. You can't use fucking dead silence. It sucks. It's worthless against fucking Amplify. So, we want Spy Plane back, alright, over SATCOM. And for sure, a lot of fucking faggot ass kids are gonna be saying, No, Joe, shut the fuck up. You don't know nothing about that. SATCOM versus Spy Plane, blah, blah. We want SATCOM, blah. Bitch. Fucking Spy Plane prevented your ass back in the day from camping. I bet you were like one of the few that actually got their asses whooped back in the day. Because you were camping. And you never used Ghost. For God's sakes. I mean, like, come on. So, hopefully Spy Plane makes a comeback somehow. The next kill streak I would like to talk about will be the Loki kill streak. Would it make a comeback? I don't think so. The Loki kill streak was terrible, was humiliating to the freaking franchise. It was fucking horrible. I got it once. And I was like, this is the fucking kill streak? Are you kidding me? I'd rather have the AC-130. I'd rather have the Reaper. I'd rather have the Chopper, Gunner. I'd rather have some of the dogs, you know? I'd rather have any other big kill streak out there in the previous Call of Duty over the Loki kill streak. I think I ranked this fucking kill streak called the Loki the lowest ever. It's not even worth getting at all. I think the most worth to get in, in Call of Duty Ghosts will be the Chopper because you can't take it down. You gotta aim real fucking hard with the launcher in order for you to take it down. It's pretty hard to take down. So, the Loki hopefully doesn't make a, make a comeback at all. The next kill streak, the unique kill streak from Call of Duty Ghost will be the dog. Will it make it be, will be will it be making a comeback? I don't maybe maybe so. 50 50 chance they might replace it with something else. Uh, one of the kill streaks that I really want to come make a comeback will be the RCXT. That one was a good kill streak over the fucking dog. The dog was OP as fuck. That motherfucker took a lot of shots, man. He was like wearing like two ballistic vests or something because god damn that motherfucker was like a robot. Screw the dog, man. Take that shit out. I'd rather have the RCXD where you can actually destroy it and it's a low kill streak. So make it come back, RCXD, and fuck the dog, because the dog is OP as fuck. It's annoying also, because out of nowhere it fucking penetrates the goddamn wall and Call of Duty Ghost. It was horrible, man. It was horrendous. Um, another kill streak that I would like to talk about uh, will be the EMP. Hopefully, the, the style of the EMP comes back. I hate how you just call a fucking cell phone and. You EMP people, like, that's fucking dumb. And there's no effects. I, I like the fucking effects from Modern Warfare 3 about the EMP. And also on uh, Black Ops 2, the effects were, were uh, pretty good. So, um, that's pretty much it, guys. I think that's some of the kill streaks that I would like to make a comeback on. If any new kill streaks were to be added, um, I think the Juggernaut Maniacs should make a comeback. And uh, I think we should be able to climb walls like you, how you guys showed us on the, uh, the cutscenes on, on the trailer. I think that would be pretty cool, like, we should be able to run on walls and shit, that would, that would be crazy, though. Um, that would be, like, robbing Titanfall, but, you know, I think that would be a good idea, you know. Good, cool idea, exp like, explore somewhere else, start with this simple shit, don't make it for competitor gaming, make it for the pub. Make it for the majority, and not for the minority, which is the competitive players, which is fucking dumb, They're, that's their fucking strategy, apparently. So anyways, guys, those are my predictions, guys, come back or no come back. What do you guys think? And what kill streak do you guys want to come back? Like, for me, guys, my opinion will be the AC-130. Hopefully, it comes back. 
So, subscribe for more guys, more Call of Duty Advanced Warfare coming up.